Good evening, welcome to the STEM Shed. Today I'm going to be doing the DNA um, extraction from a strawberry one last time. The reason I'm doing this is because I saw a meme on internets the other day that I thought was pretty funny. And um, the meme basically went along the lines of if uh, you're using your Bath and Body Works, you know, soap is 10% alcohol, 9% glitter. And it's funny. It is funny. Not factual, but it is funny. And one thing I did is I found some Bath and Body Works soap. This one is actually from Autumn, so it's a little bit older. And actually has some interesting directions on here. Telling you to clean your hands and wash them for 20 seconds to get the germs away. This is pre-COVID. This is even pre-flu season, but they're telling you 20 seconds. That's why they tell you 20 seconds in the guidelines. So, you can look down here, and it has the ingredients, it has water, um, it also has ammonium lauryl uh, sulfate, it includes also uh, a disodium lauryl uh, ether sulfate in there, multiple ingredients, uh, but it all does the same thing. It's a soap, a soap is soap. You know, normally people think of this Dawn here, which, um, you know, I'm thinking more powerful, which to the degree it is, but um, they all work the same way, no matter what. So what I'm going to do is repeat the experiment with some strawberries here. And I'm going to look to see that uh, I can use this Bath & Body Works soap to extract his DNA out. And that would essentially prove that using Bath & Body Works soap is good enough soap to combat coronavirus. In fact, it's going to be better than just using alcohol. So a quick reminder of what our ingredients were. Uh, we have salt. Um, I'm not going to go over the reasons why we choose these. Um, we have this... Uh, Fro or not frozen, but chilled 95% uh, alcohol um, grain spirits right here. Um, and we have our strawberries. Oh, and 90 milliliters of water. It doesn't really matter how much you use, just, just use what, you know, whatever. Really, it's not going to be really, it's not going to really matter for this experiment. So I have the Bath and Body Works soap here, and I'm going to put about two teaspoons in here. One it does smell good. Whoops, a little bit out. All right, and I'm just gonna shake it around a little bit, just kind of mix it, mix, mix, mix. All right, so it's in there, and I'm gonna put it into the strawberries. All right, it's in there. Zip the strawberries up, as much air out as possible and start squishing. I'm using two in this one just because I'm trying to match what I had before um, with my strawberries. Uh, the other ones I have were a little bit bigger, but I want to show that a significant amount of DNA will come out versus when I did the quick wash where I poured it in, poured it out. Um, probably what I should have done is maybe a control group where I use water itself, but I really don't care. Um, just know that the soap works. Unless you think the science has been lying to you for um, ever all right so I'm squishing squishing let me get the light out of your way squish squish yeah this is looking kind of good all right so so remember as we went over before the sodium lauryl sulfate while I have a little time I'll let this kind of work its magic you know here's uh let's see I can get in view maybe not there we go you can kind of remember this here so there's uh Top part is the sodium lauryl ether sulfate. Bottom part is the polar cells. And the thinking about co um, the COVID or coronavirus is that its cell is basically made of your old cells that it took over and made a lipid, made a uh, phospholipid bilayer. And, but, and that's great because it actually makes it really easy to kill. There's other viruses that are hard to kill. They have a hard protein shell, a capsid. And uh, those are much harder to kill. Um, I'm not sure which ones particular viruses have that but they are out there so I got my filter here I got this from the drain section in Lowe's I thought it'd be better but you can use this drainer I've seen coffee filters used so all right so I got this lovely pink strawberry here all right it's through I'm gonna put this away all right I'm gonna do some mushing uh, use this one all right let's mush it through where we can all right. All right. 
Now I'm gonna put this back, uh, and I'm gonna put this actually into a separate flask. As you can see, there's really no DNA at the moment because I haven't put the alcohol in. It's all dissolved, all right? Oh, I forgot about my salt, whatever. Let's do that. I'm not quite sure how important it is. I know I've done it without the salt, but just in case, just do everything right because they like to use the salt. So spin around, spin around. All right, you got the salt. All right. So now it comes the fun part, the alcohol. All right. So I want to pour in this much. All right. So I'm going to start kind of letting it work. Swish it around, swish. All right. You might notice the DNA is starting to form on top. Uh, it looks like foam, but it's not foam. And we'll be able to pull it out here in a second and see. There we go. I mean, I guess I should put it in view. So let's go down here. So as you can see, I'm starting to get the foaming. It looks like foam, but this is actually the DNA. And guess what? It is working. That DNA is there. If we want, we can put some more chilled alcohol in here. Just to separate everything better. You know, if it was foam, the alcohol would have knocked it down. So that's one thing you kind of keep in mind. Especially if you're using rubbing alcohol. And there it is. There's your DNA. So, if you do this, the RNA inside of the COVID virus it will be out and it won't be able to harm you. And that was, again, with Bath & Body Works soap. So, yes, use your Bath & Body Works soap. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. And we can get through all this together. All right, stay safe.